only a handful of the world's countries are unscathed by the coronavirus. For the majority battling the disease, there is no single answer. So many are testing out different measures to fight the disease. Texas tries roadblocks to stop the spread. South Korea has aggressively tested for the disease. Italy has extended its emergency anti-coronavirus measures with a lockdown of the entire country. Most agree keeping people at home is vital. Hong Kong has one of the best records in fighting the virus, just four deaths in a population of seven and a half million. That's not much smaller than New York. The 2003 SARS outbreak lives long in the memory and the city brought in tough early measures to get ahead. The end of January, Hong Kong closed schools. It sent all of its public servants home. The semi-autonomous Chinese territory is taking no chances. On March 19, the Hong Kong government began enforcing a compulsory 14-day quarantine for anyone arriving from overseas. Arrivals are instructed to download an app, Stay Home Safe, which pairs with an electronic bracelet. So far, 65,000 have been issued. While the product is new, the technology, geofencing, is actually pretty old. If you look at the clothes, the clothes are often has a tab on it, right? Uh, if you leave the uh, shop with the tab on, the alarm will sound. This is geofencing. It's geofencing for the clothes. How does your application of geofencing work in the current crisis? Well, basically, uh, in our apartment, we have different kind of signals beyond GPS. Uh, these signals can be Wi-Fi signals, cellular signals, Bluetooth signals. So these devices offer a very rich set of signals unique to your home. So just by learning the signature of where you live, uh, you know whether the person is uh, inside the uh, place or not. Like a virtual boundary. Yes, it's like a virtual boundary. Some people worry about the privacy implications of, of tracking people, but, but you said that actually this is privacy preserving to a certain degree. Your location is not being recorded. Uh, it's only that you are, you are inside the, uh, the home or outside. Okay, so as long as you are inside, um, the government would be happy. The government would not, would not uh, uh, checking where you are exactly. So long as you are inside, right? Uh, the quarantine place. Uh, once you are stepping out, alert will be given to the government. There have been several reports of the wristbands failing. Despite this, it's believed many of Hong Kong's positive outcomes are due to conscientious citizens supporting tough government measures. The coronavirus has raised difficult questions about our freedom and privacy when the health of a population is at severe risk. In Hong Kong, breaking your quarantine could result in a hefty fine, jail time, or even being shipped off to a government facility.